The demon lord did not rush to pursue, chanting curses in demonic language, sometimes high-pitched, sometimes low and deep, all filled with a sinister flavor. The dark red radiance on his body also became increasingly intense. The red halos under the feet of the large demon cavalry around him were growing stronger. They pointed their spears forward, emitting a low chant. The nightmare demon horses beneath them also emitted layers of red light that strengthened on these large demon cavalry. It can be said that the recent achievements of the two demon hunting squads in their attacks were mainly due to their ambush and the advantageous distractions caused by Chai Air and Han Daosi. Combined with the terrain, all of which led to such favorable results. Similarly, as demon cavalry, their leaders differed, and their strengths were also vastly different. Don't assume that just because they easily defeated 50 demon cavalry last time, they can easily handle these powerful demon tribe members. The strength of these demon tribe elites is not to be underestimated. Last time, the complete annihilation of the enemy was mainly due to the significant contribution of how use chaos element separation. The formidable power of the three element mixed magic weakened the large demon cavalry by at least half. Additionally, at that time, Long Haochen was present, acting as a significant support. However, this time, even though the number of demon cavalry is only 30, they include a 7th rank and two 6th rank demons, their mere presence poses a considerable challenge for both demon hunting squads. Thus, the real battle has only just begun, similar to the tactics specified by Lucy earlier, holding their ground is their true tactical plan. Yakiji. The demon lord roared loudly, and the large demon cavalry immediately started moving led by a sixth-rank demon leader at the forefront, forming a cone formation charging directly towards the cave where the two demon hunting squads were positioned. Surprisingly, the demon lord did not join the formation, instead falling behind, carrying his blood-red heavy sword, riding a massive nightmare demon horse in pursuit, appearing as if overseeing the battle, but actually serving as the rear guard. In its perception, only Chai Air posed a real threat to it. After the injured giant avian demon entered the cave, it went straight to Chinin Air's side, giving a couple of plaintive cries to her, its eyes oddly carrying a trace of grievance. Observing its injuries, Chen Yin Air also felt a lot of pity, but they couldn't let Lucy heal it now, as it was imbued with dark and lightning attributes, and healing it with light attributes would have adverse effects. Without a doubt, the remarkable feat was achieved by the great avian demon, known as Mirror Image Treasure Pig McDull. It initially transformed into the appearance of the demon lord to confuse the enemies, and then it consumed the avian demon's magic crystal, allowing it to make a significant contribution. Although it consumed a sixth rank magic crystal, there's no doubt that slaying a formidable enemy relieved a great deal of pressure for both demon hunting squads. After a couple of hums from the giant avian demon, it skittishly flew to the entrance of the cave. Dense lightning elemental energy gathering around it, its hands forming a cupped shape over its chest, a golden lightning sphere enveloped in black energy rapidly forming. Before ten minutes had passed, it still had a fair amount of energy from the magic crystal, so it shouldn't go to waste. Finally, the attacks of the large demon cavalry began, led by the demon leader, their spears emanating intense dark red radiance. Charging forward, spears pointing forward, a momentary pause in their incantations. Streams of blood red light shot straight towards the cave entrance. What's most terrifying is that, these dark red radiance streams, under the attack of the demon leader, merged together, condensing into a powerful beam that directly struck the cave entrance. The immense power caused the faces of all the hunters inside the cave to change color in response. At this moment, they truly realized the true combat strength of these demon cavalry, once it was fully unleashed. The greatest advantage of cavalry lies in their group charges, even though they are currently in mountainous terrain, the nightmare demon horse's climbing abilities allow the charging momentum of these large demon cavalry to remain formidable. Confronted with the fierce dark red radiance, Han Yu did not hesitate in the slightest, resolutely holding his ground at the front, his heavy shield held horizontally in front of him. The long-prepared Holy Light Barrier and Holy Light Infusion Shield were released in an instant. Two consecutive Fire Elemental Shields were added to him, while a silvery white radiance struck first upon the dark red radiance, slightly weakening its attack. Boom! The overwhelming force of the attack almost instantly shredded the two layers of Fire Elemental Shields and the Holy Light Barrier, then fiercely slammed into the added Holy Light Infusion Shield on the shield. The shield that Hanchian gave to his grandson wasn't actually a powerful weapon, but merely a magical grade shield. Amidst the intense roar, a golden light flickered on Hanyu's body, which was the divine divine blocking skill. He learned it after inheriting Hanchian's skills, but due to Long Haochen's presence in the team, he rarely had to use it himself. In everyone's eyes, with the divine divine blocking, Hanyu should have been able to easily block this attack. However, in reality, under the full force of this attack, Hanyu actually let out a muffled groan, and his shield struck forcefully against his chest, he staggered back three big steps before regaining his stance. At the same time, a radiance appeared on the bodies of 
Commander Level Number 21 Demon Hunting Squad members, as the shared life link effect of the soul chain was activated, sharing the damage Han Yu received. Puff, Han Yu spat out a mouthful of blood. And a golden light at this moment, spread throughout the cave, falling on everyone. Lucy's group healing was perfectly timed, not only healing Han Yu's injuries, but also, just a moment ago, McDull, who had released the lightning ball from its paw, transformed back from the appearance of the giant avian demon into its mirror image treasure pig form. And Lucy's healing effect was able to cover everyone. Han Yu felt a dull ache in his chest, and he couldn't help but sigh inwardly. Long Haochen had always been at the forefront, but today, it was his turn. Only now did he truly understand the immense pressure Long Haochen had been carrying every time. Moreover, Long Haochen often used his holy guiding spirit furnace to attract the most formidable enemies to himself. Han Yu was pushed back, and Yen Yen firmly took his place in front of him. Finally, the final blow of the mirror image treasure pig had some effect. Amidst the intense roar, two more of the large demon cavalry were blasted away. The speed of the lightning was simply too fast, to the point that even the demon lord couldn't intervene in time. However, this obviously couldn't change the overall situation, as the second wave of fierce attacks had arrived once more. Once again, it was the aggressive charge with accumulated momentum, and after this attack, the large demon cavalry were about to charge to the front of the cave. Dian Yan's situation was much worse than Han Yu's. His cultivation level was considerably lower than Han Yu's. Even though he had the support of Linsen's dual fire elemental shields, bearing the brunt of this strike, not only was his body sent flying from the impact, but the shield in his hand shattered into pieces, blood gushing out in a frenzy, he was already heavily wounded. The demon hunters of the soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad didn't have companions to share their injuries. If it wasn't for Lucy's timely healing, this single attack likely would have sent Yen Yen to the afterlife. Even though the healing followed quickly, he would be incapacitated for battle in the short term. Both arms that held the shield had been broken. The sixth rank demon commander had already reached the front. And the formation of the large demon cavalry had instantly changed, shifting from a conical formation into a single line, with the demon commander at the very front, and the other large demon cavalry forming a line behind, each one of them pointing their spears forward, and the dark red spiritual energy connecting into a straight line, being injected into the body of the demon commander. If one were paying attention at this moment, they would notice that only ten of the large demon cavalry were doing this, while three others remained idle at the back. Evidently, the demon commander's body had its own limits. The standard for sixth rank spiritual power is above 4,000. And the demon race's shared spiritual power technique can at most elevate the recipient's spiritual power to the peak of their current rank without generating a breakthrough effect. In other words, the demon commander's spiritual power can be increased to at most 10,000, but it won't surpass that. But even so, for the two demon hunting squads, this can already be considered a disaster. Except for Long Haochen who hasn't returned yet, among them, not even one has a spiritual power breakthrough beyond 3,000. How can they withstand the demon commander, amplified by the shared spiritual power technique? I'm first, Yuan Yuan second, and Sima third. With a loud shout, Han Yu had already charged out, and his aura suddenly surged exponentially. He raised his heavy shield in hand, and a brilliant golden light burst forth like a geyser, an almost tangible light elemental power, fiercely collided with the charging demon commander. Amidst the explosive sound, what was astonishing was, this time, Han Yu didn't retreat a single step. Under the burst of light's vengeance, he counterattacked with a sword, engaging the demon commander head-on. Surprisingly, Wan Yuan Yuan and Shima Xian didn't step forward to assist. Instead, they took half a step back, guarding the cave entrance. Linsen continued releasing, one fire elemental shield after another to assist Han Yu. Yi Jun kept launching attacks with his spatial magic, his spatial magic was launched. Lucy's healing spells and various enhancements continued to be cast without interruption, and incredibly, with the support of everyone. They managed to miraculously block the demon commander's attack, by Xiaomo's plant summons, at this point didn't have much effect anymore, as the large demon knights were covered in dark red flames, and the demon lord behind them was watching eagerly. Her previously summoned magic had all disappeared, and trying to replenish it from the outside was clearly impossible. This clearly wasn't a real miracle, nor did Han Yu experience a qualitative breakthrough. He suddenly became stronger and resisted the demon commander's attack, with the sole reason being, he took pills. The combination of bursting spirit pill and bloodless pill instantly elevated his power to a new level although the consumption was significant. There was no doubt about its effectiveness, with the help of his teammates, he managed to barely withstand the enemy's assault. Han Yu was well aware that, even if Wan Yuan Yuan and Shima Xian also took pills, they couldn't possibly directly block the demon commander's attack like he did, since they didn't possess the divine blocking skill to enhance their defense, so he was determined to hold out, for a longer time no matter what. Wan Yuan Yuan only stood ready to take over at any time, but at this moment, Shima Xian's voice sounded. Yuan Yuan. I'll be the second in a moment. 
Wang Yuan Yuan was momentarily stunned, then she instinctively looked at him. Shima Xian's face was solemn, filled with determination, and he locked eyes with Wang Yuan Yuan. I'm a man, okay. Wang Yuan Yuan didn't dwell on it. She just walked towards him and gave him a thumbs up. At this moment, the members of Commander Level No. 21 Demon Hunting Squad all couldn't help but think of Long Haochen. If he were here, perhaps everything would be different. He would surely be able to withstand the enemy's attack without needing to consume pills. With the core team missing, the overall strength would inevitably suffer a great blow. The cold intent to kill emerged once again, this time even more intense than before. In the darkness, Chai Er stepped out slowly, no longer concealing her figure, and step by step, she walked towards the demon lord. The demon commander's attack, for now, the cave's side could still withstand. But the demon lord was the true threat that could annihilate them. Chai Er had no other choice. With each step forward, the gray aura around Chai Er's body grew denser, resembling a tangible intent to kill behind her, gradually condensing into the shape of a blade. Chai Er held a dark gold dagger in her right hand, angled towards the ground, while her left hand pressed against the center of her chest. She walked slowly. But upon seeing her, the demon lord became visibly anxious. Gripping his blood-red heavy sword with both hands, he stood still. But the dark red radiance around his body continued to intensify. This time, Chai Er was truly going all out. If she couldn't effectively deal damage to the enemy, then today they might all be left behind here. Chai Er didn't know when Long Haochen would return, but she was the current interim leader. Everyone was fighting to ensure Long Haochen's safe return, and not getting trapped in the cave of fearful wailing. Due to these demon attacks, as Long Haochen's girlfriend, she had an obligation, she must use her strength to ensure everyone's survival. Chai Er's gaze imperceptibly had turned gray. Around the blade of gathered killing intent behind her gradually emerged six distinct symbols. These symbols were all unique, not belonging to any known script. But as they appeared, the demon lord surprisingly took half a step back, to the extent that Han Daosi quietly rushed out from the side, attacking the large demon cavalry from behind, without eliciting any response. A hint of panic even appeared on his fierce face. My eyes become your eyes, the first cycle of reincarnation, the cycle of the eye. Chai Er moved, all the fierce killing intent suddenly vanished in an instant as she swiftly transformed, and in her left hand, a jet black dagger appeared emanating a dark purple radiance. Behind her, among the six symbols before, the one resembling an eye's pupil suddenly expanded, shrouding her form. In this moment, Chai Er seemed to no longer be her usual self. In the eyes of the demon lord, she appeared like a harbinger of death. A burst of bloody radiance, the demon lord's entire body, transformed into a massive ball of crimson light. Countless rays of blood-red light suddenly burst forth from him, attempting to block Chai Er's attack from all directions. Because in the instant Chai Er accelerated, he shockingly realized, that the chilling killing intent that had horrified him had completely vanished. And along with it disappeared all his senses regarding Chai Er. In the next moment, dark purple radiance interwove, and Chai Er had already appeared ten yards behind the demon lord. A sharp and miserable scream suddenly erupted from the demon lord's mouth. A third of his blood-red heavy sword had shattered a third of its length. More importantly, within his eyes, black blood oozed, leaving him completely blind. A wound as deep as bone was left on his left shoulder. His nightmare. Demon horse beneath him suffered even worse, wailing in agony as its limbs broke, lying prostrate on the ground. However, Chai Er's eyes lost all their brilliance just as his vision went dark. My ears become your ears, the second cycle of reincarnation, the cycle of the ear. Chai Er didn't pause, as dark as ink, noble as purple, the reincarnation sword radiating a poignant light struck once more, her body vanishing again into the darkness, leaving only a second eerie symbol in the air. Since the completion of the reincarnation spirit furnace, this was the first time Chai Er had exerted her full effort to employ it, as the most formidable spirit furnace ever discovered. By humans, its power surpassed that of any other spirit furnace. Of course, the demon lord wouldn't just stand by, roaring in a frenzy. His body suddenly turned translucent dark red within his body, even emitting a booming explosion-like sound. In this state, he resembled a human knight, employing the radiant body. Holding the broken half of his sword, he leaped from his nightmare demon horse's back, spinning rapidly like a top in midair, the terrifying spiritual power fluctuations turned the surroundings into a blazing inferno. The solid ground rapidly melted, his body actually descending into the ground. P. Theft. When he reappeared, Chai Er had landed on the other side of the Demon Lord. And the Demon Lord's rapid spinning abruptly halted in that instant. His entire right arm disintegrated into a mist of blood in the air. Black blood even sprayed from his ears. In the midst of a harrowing scream, his massive body collapsed to the ground. His remaining left hand directed towards Chai Er struck out with a crazed punch. A sphere of dark red light abruptly radiated from his fist, within which a hexagonal dark red crystal could be seen, a demonic crystal, the demon. Lords, in extreme fear and agony, 
using his own demonic crystal as a source, launched his final deadly strike at Chai Air. Even if this blow succeeded in killing Chai Air, he himself would likely not survive. My taste becomes your taste, the third cycle of reincarnation, the cycle of the tongue. This time, the jet black radiance didn't fade away, the dark purple light was like a breathtaking rainbow, Chai Air's fusion of body and sword was akin to the sword of a death deity piercing through barriers, and in the next instant, she reappeared behind the demon lord once more. The demonic crystal solidified in the air, and in the next instant. Clang, clang. Two crisp sounds rang out that. Core demonic crystal of the demon lord's final strike, unexpectedly was cleaved into two by a single slash, without even the chance to unleash its power, and fell to the ground. The massive body of the demon lord froze. While the surrounding flames continued to burn, but the nightmare demon horse beneath him, froze alongside him, a streak of blood running from top to bottom, extending from the demon lord's head down to the belly of the nightmare demon horse. Plop! The split body hit the ground abruptly, oddly, not a single drop of blood spilled out, either from the nightmare demon horse nor from the demon lord's flesh, both had turned a pale gray. A stream of blood light shot up from the demon lord's body, creating a ring of crimson light in the sky. The night breeze swept by, Chai Air stood silently, unmoving there, resembling a sculpture of darkness and tranquility. All the intense aura also vanished in that instant, and she stood there, completely still. Yet not a single large demon dared to launch an attack against her. Chai Air, on her side, activated the reincarnation spirit furnace. While using the whisk of reincarnation, the battle situation was rapidly changing. Han Daosi's surprise attack from the rear was successful, and more importantly, the attacks from above, of the large demon cavalry above. Lee Sin had been waiting for an opportunity. She knew very well that facing the demon lord, launching a rash attack would only lead to death. She would ultimately be courting death. As Chai Air successfully distracted the demon lord, Lee Sin finally made her move. Rose Unicorn's power combined perfectly with her own, and with the combination of Rose Unicorn's power, as Han Daosi launched his attack from behind, dazzling red light also descended from the sky. This was a powerful strike by Lee Sin. Just a step away from the fifth rank, with the assistance of gathering power, she could barely wield the holy sword, not to mention the amplification from Rose Unicorn, compounded with these two enhancements. The holy light slash descended from the sky. Her holy light slash was different from Long Haochen's. In addition to the light element, it also carried a fierce fire element. Her choice of target was cleverly made, aiming for the central point of the linked spiritual bodies of the large demon cavalry. If she attacked from behind, it wouldn't sufficiently weaken the demon commander. If she attacked too far ahead, she would be obstructed by the demon commander himself. With a boom, two of the large demon cavalry were completely thrown off by Lee Sin's full force blow. Only five of the large demon cavalry remained, who could support the linked spiritual bodies of the demon commander, the rest were thrown off and Han Daosi had also succeeded in his attack from behind, plunging his dagger into the neck of one of the large demon cavalry, severing its central nervous system completely. Their actions greatly relieved the pressure on the defensive line at the cave entrance, but even so, the situation at the entrance of the cave remained extremely dire. After sustaining the defense for a full three minutes, Han Yu finally couldn't hold on any longer, and his shield and sword shattered as he retreated. The following cavalry only managed to resist three strikes. Before being sent flying in a spray of blood, and their staff snapping in two. Wan Yuan Yuan fared a bit better than the cavalry, as she wasn't skilled in defense, relying solely on the shield of the giant god, to counterattack against the demon commander. Boosted by the bursting spirit pill and bloodthirsty pill, she managed to withstand twice as long as the cavalry, just as she was blasted backward. The support of the linked spiritual bodies behind the demon commander abruptly diminished, but there were no longer enough melee fighters left inside the cave for defense. At this critical juncture, a great avian demon gleaming with lightning suddenly appeared on the battlefield. Once again on the battlefield, and the mirror image treasure pig took action once more. However, even though the demon commander's support from the linked spiritual bodies had weakened considerably it still far surpassed the strength of the greater avian demon. Moreover, the mirror image treasure pig was, after all, only a reflection of the greater avian demon's abilities, and its use of those abilities certainly couldn't match up to the real greater avian demon. Additionally it didn't have a soul link to share the damage. Under the tremendous assault of the demon commander, it was forced to retreat step by step, until it had retreated into the cave. At this point, the situation inside the cave had deteriorated even further. Bai Shaomo and Yi Jun had both exhausted their spiritual power, Lucy's healing magic had no effect on the greater avian demon, and under the effect of the soul link, Han Yu, Wan Yu An Yuan, Shima Xian, and Lin Sen were all heavily injured. Han Yu and Shima Xian in particular, had also lost their weapons. The demon commander's spiritual power, might not be as terrifying as 10,000, but it's still around 6 or 7,000. Once the frontline defense collapses, it will undoubtedly lead to a massacre for the two demon hunting squads. Finally, 
the greater avian demon was blasted away by a sword, crashing heavily into the wall behind, the enormous wound, preventing it from maintaining its mirrored appearance, and the severely wounded mirror image treasure pig revealed its true form. Han Yu, Wan Yuan Yuan, and Shima Xian all rushed forward simultaneously, but the demon commander simply rotated sideways, sending all three of them flying, leaving deep wounds on Shima Xian and Han Yu. Inside the cave, those who still had some combat capability were down to only Linsen. Fire elemental shield, resisting the fire ring. Linsen's hand trembled as he held the flame cloud crystal staff, in terms of spiritual power intensity. He ranked among the top in the team, but he was a mage who couldn't attack. Ah. Uh, a sharp scream suddenly came from behind Linsen, followed by the sound of a body falling down. A silver light suddenly burst forth, beneath the demon commander's feet, freezing the fierce and dominant figure of the demon lord in place. Linsen quickly turned his head to look behind him, only to see Jun engulfed in intense silver-white flames, urgently gesturing to him. Quickly attack him, I can't. Hold on much longer. Flame of life, it's the flame of life. Yi Jun was doing this by burning his own life force, and when his life ends, the magic will end. The demon commander remained motionless, its fierce face not far from Linsen, but it wouldn't attack. The shared life through the soul link couldn't alleviate the backlash from the potion's effects, as the effects of the bursting spirit pill and bloodthirsty pill faded away. Han Yu, Wang Yuan Yuan, and Shima Xian had all lost their combat capabilities. Their own spiritual power had been completely drained. I, I don't know how to use attacking magic, Linsen said dumbfoundedly. Lucy exerted all his effort, and finally released a series of holy light bolts. That bombarded the demon commander, roaring. Bastard, can't you even manage a basic fireball spell? Inside the cave, those who still had the power to attack, were now reduced to just Linsen, but in his current state, his face was pale, flames flickered on his staff, yet he couldn't conjure an attacking spell. I can't hold on any longer. Yi Jun shouted loudly, blood oozing from his seven apertures. Ah! Uh, Linsen screamed almost crazily, the flame-resisting halo burst forth, amidst a thunderous roar, forcefully hurling the demon commander out of the cave. This also ended the restriction on Yi Jun's magic. You! Yi Jun looked at Linsen resentfully, then fell into a deep unconsciousness. The demon commander was sent flying out of the cave by the impact, just as it was about to re-enter and initiate another slaughter. Suddenly, a golden light shone, like a dazzling rainbow descending from the sky accompanied by a piercing roar and an unparalleled aura, arrived with an incredibly sharp attacking force. The air compressed, to the extent that even with its spiritual power still exceeding 6,000, the demon commander couldn't evade at all, and the last thing it ever saw was a figure riding on a three-headed giant beast descending from the sky. And the figure was entirely golden. With a thud, the sword broke and the figure fell, and the demon commander was split into two by a single strike. The demon commander, along with the fifth-rank nightmare beneath it, was cleaved into two by this earth-shattering blow. The bodies fell to the sides with a resounding crash. The intertwined spiritual power resulted in a backlash, and behind him, the five major demon knights simultaneously spat out a mouthful of black blood. Roar! Hao Yu's three heads simultaneously roared, and three breaths were exhaled simultaneously, directly blowing away the demon knights in the front, who were affected by the backlash, and on its back. Long Hao Chen's figure flickered out, with the light elemental elf Ting by his side, continuously emitting circles of white halos. The gathering spirit halo was rapidly, restoring Long Haochen's expended spiritual power at an astonishing speed. Yes, at the critical juncture of life and death, Long Haochen finally returned, and in this moment, holding the blue rain, light lotus in both hands, surrounded by a thick and viscous golden light, forming a brilliant golden halo around his body, further enhanced by the light elemental Elphia Ting's augmentation, even without Hao Yu, he had the confidence to confront any sixth-rank expert head-on. Without a doubt, the strike that killed the demon commander was undoubtedly the surest strike. If it were only the Shura strike, it wouldn't possess such formidable attack power. But what if it was the Shura strike prepared in advance? With Hao Yu's ascent, Long Haochen remained in a state of understanding the Shura strike, and he quickly realized that his newly learned Shura strike could synergize with the stored power skill. With this, the offensive power of the Shura strike became terrifying. If he were alone, naturally, he couldn't use stored power during battle. That would be suicidal. But don't forget, he had Hao Yu's assistance, standing on Hao Yu's back. He had all the time to prepare stored power. As for that demon commander, it became the first sacrifice to his Shura strike. With a full 3,000 units of stored spiritual power, the Shura strike had such immense offensive power, even Long Haochen himself was awed by it. However, at this moment, he had no time for excitement. Halfway on his return, he began to feel the backlash from the shared life link. As a knight, he could naturally share the pain, with Hao Yu to alleviate the injuries on his body. However, how could he not realize that his companions were in danger? he hurriedly rushed back with Hao Yu's assistance. Before reaching the cave's entrance, he had already started preparing the stored power for his Shura strike. 
Long Houchen believed that the enemy must be led by a powerful figure, and it was clearly crucial to first severely wound their leader. Moreover, with the appearance of the Eternal Melody, Long Houchen was granted the abilities of a sixth rank knight in advance, allowing him to recover spiritual power at three times. The normal rate while in battle, coupled with Ya Ting's assistance, his spiritual power could swiftly recover at a terrifying rate of 20 points per second. Long Houchen was certain that the Eternal Melody Necklace was at least a legendary grade equipment. This was a conservative estimation. Stepping on the nine dragon steps, Long Houchen's figure nimbly weaved amongst the demon knights, his heart filled with anxiety. Because not long ago, when he dashed out of the cave, he distinctly felt a strong sense of unease, a feeling of turmoil that made his heart race. Lightning thrust, accompanied by a mist-like brilliance, instantly spread like mist, but this was no ordinary lightning thrust. It was lightning thrust enhanced with radiance. Ripple. With Long Houchen's current cultivation, how could these demon knights possibly withstand it? Radiance illuminated the world behind him, supported by Xiao Guang's spiritual power, instantly enveloping Long Houchen, while Xiao Hua and Xiao Qing, one after another, cast lotus spells like a torrential storm to protect his flanks. None of the demon knight's spears could withstand Long Houchen's blue rain, light lotus. Radiance emanated. And a series of sword lights emitted a soft swishing. Sound as they pierced through bodies. The lightning thrust skill, for a retribution knight, was merely a low-tier skill, typically used by higher-tier experts, when facing lower-tier opponents. Or as a link to other skills. Since the attack power of lightning thrust was dispersed, and it didn't require much spiritual power, it could manifest numerous sword lights, high-tier knights rarely used it. However, when this skill was in Long Houchen's hands, it was transformed completely, after he acquired the blue rain, light lotus. The power of lightning thrust greatly increased, evolving from a pure light element dazzling skill into a dual light and water element piercing skill. Furthermore, with the augmentation of Radiance Ripple, the attack power of each sword light was greatly enhanced. Long Houchen had just recently comprehended Radiance Ripple, so he hadn't had the time to truly refine lightning thrust. Yet even so, these ordinary demon knights couldn't hinder him. With the cooperation of Han Daosi and Li Sin, the remaining battle was quickly concluded, and all the demon knights were eradicated halfway up the mountain. Some who attempted to flee couldn't escape from the airborne rose unicorn, they were all slain by Li Sin. Houchen, you finally came back. Li Sin rode her rose unicorn to the ground, dismounted and turned around. But when she reached Long Houchen, she found Long. Houchen standing there, his body trembling slightly. Following Long Houchen's gaze, she saw not far away, Chai Er stood still like a statue, quietly standing there, amidst such intense battle. Yet she showed no reaction at all, as if she were a lifeless puppet. Chai Er. Long Houchen's voice trembled, a light flickered in his hand, and the blue rain, Light Lotus vanished on its own. He rushed forward, even employing his charge skill, and instantly reached Chai Er. A dim golden light radiated, Chai Er's right hand lifted slightly, but it fell weakly after barely rising. Her body went limp, collapsing directly into Long Houchen's embrace. He tightly held her delicate body, without hesitation, casting a holy light barrier over himself and Chai Er. However, he soon realized that Chai Er's life signs showed no signs of distress, but her spiritual power was greatly depleted, both internal and external spiritual power were drained, leaving her collapsed in Long Houchen's arms, unable to even lift a finger. How could this be? How could this happen? It's all because I came back late. Long Houchen regretted deeply, regretting not returning sooner. He was clever, even amidst a tumultuous state of mind. He could still understand. Why his companions fought to the death here? All of this was due to my own misjudgment. I thought the demons couldn't arrive so quickly, which is why I lingered for too long. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Long Houchen's heart was filled with self-blame, and his gaze finally fell upon the demon lord's body that had been bisected. Those massive demons and nightmare devil horses, Long Houchen gently stroked Chai Er's long hair. Silly, did you use the reincarnation spirit furnace again? It's my fault. It's all my fault. He tightly embraced Chai Er in his arms. Long Houchen's heartache almost took his breath away, his eyes turning red in the process.